Hey, Psych2Goers. Have you been feeling overly anxious lately? Perhaps you've been eating less or have been feeling really down. Sometimes you might read all about mental illnesses online and how it affects people, but then you find yourself at a loss for the signs and what to look out for in those who may be experiencing symptoms of mental illness. You might be wanting to help a friend or are worried about them, but just don't know what to do. So if you want to be more informed about the warning signs of a mental illness, here are eight early warning signs. Before we begin, we would like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only and is not intended to substitute a professional diagnosis. If you suspect you may have a mental health condition, we highly advise you to seek help from a qualified mental health professional. Now let's begin. Number one, excessive fear or anxiety. Do you tremble at the thought of doing a presentation? Whether it's a fear of going out, a phobia of heights or anxiety talking to people, Extreme mood swings or persistent anxiety can be a warning sign of a mental illness such as depression or bipolar disorder. This kind of fear may be persistent and at times it may not even have a particular trigger. You may experience physiological symptoms such as fatigue, feeling tense, shaking or trembling, or gastrointestinal irritation. Cognitive behavioral therapy is one way that may help you manage your anxiety and fears. Number two, social withdrawal. Have you been canceling all your plans recently? Perhaps you've just been feeling exhausted lately or have no interest to socialize and meet other people. Living with a mental illness is difficult as it can often rob your desire to be around or interact with others. This may lead to a habit of withdrawing and isolating yourself from your friends or family, which may worsen your mental well-being. If you experience social avoidance as a cause of a mental health illness, you may find it helpful to work with a therapist on techniques to help you cope with this anxiety, such as through meditation, mindfulness and deep breathing exercises. Number three, changes in sleeping or eating habits. Are you having sleeping problems? According to a 2005 study conducted by Strain and Chapman, subjects who experienced sleep insufficiency reported mental distress, depressive symptoms, and physical pain. Although we have much to learn about the exact neurological connection between sleep and mental health, scientists, physicians, and therapists have come to understand that it is vital to your health. Sleep is a regenerative period for your body as it enables you to think, learn, and process emotions better. Similarly, appetitive response can change due to a mental health issue. During a mental health episode, emotional turmoil can cause people to overeat or avoid eating altogether. Number four, difficulty perceiving reality. Have you experienced any hallucinations? Another early warning sign of a mental illness is a difficulty perceiving reality. The symptoms can range from delusions, maladaptive daydreaming to auditory or visual hallucinations. Difficulties in perceiving reality usually is a precursor for psychosis, which is a disruption between how your brain processes the world and the narrative inside your head. Those with bipolar disorder or schizoaffective disorder often experience psychotic episodes. Seeking early medical attention might be beneficial in preventing the psychosis from getting worse. A professional may suggest talk therapy or cognitive behavioral therapy as the most preferred form of treatment. Number five, increasing inability to cope with daily problems. Another early warning sign is an increasing inability to cope with daily problems. Despite the ambivalent research available, some studies point to low stress tolerance as part of the cause. Though there is no definitive way of measuring distress tolerance, it is safe to say that markers of distress, such as irritability, are present during or before a mental illness. There are a number of articles regarding the links between stress and mental illness. A 2010 study found an interesting connection between prolactin, stress, and mental health. Although the research focuses on schizophrenia, it can also apply to other mental illnesses. The interesting thing about prolactin is that it is regulated by dopamine, which is another hormone. Low levels of dopamine can be a sign of mental illness, but it can also be a cause of stress. Combined with prolactin, it can lead to more stress which can cause or exacerbate a mental illness. However, because stress and mental illness have overlapping symptoms, researchers find it difficult to figure out which came first, the stress or the illness. Number six, a drop in overall performance. As a result of stress and poor sleep, another sign of mental illness is a drop in overall performance. This symptom can look like an inability to complete work, but it can also look like choosing to neglect your personal well-being, such as foregoing personal hygiene. Performance is not always work-related. Mental illness can lead you to perform poorly in your own life, where you may procrastinate more often, 
have difficulty getting up in the mornings and even experience depersonalization. Number seven, unexplained physical symptoms. Do you bounce or skip when you're excited? Or perhaps you tense up when you're afraid? Like how you physically manifest your emotions, many mental illnesses also have physiological symptoms. Some physical cues include headaches or migraines, fatigues, digestive issues, and muscle soreness. Recently, there has been a lot of research linking chronic pain to mental illness. On a neurological level, the neurotransmitters, specifically serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine, are implicated both in pain control and other factors to take into account. There is no doubt that chronic pain and mental illness are connected. Hence, you may wanna be more mindful if you find yourself experiencing unexplainable physical pains or aches. And number eight, unhealthy coping mechanisms. Lastly, a warning sign of mental illness is having unhealthy coping mechanisms. Some frequent examples of unhealthy coping mechanisms are substance abuse, impulsive shopping, alcoholism, or cutting. You may engage in these behaviors in an attempt to manage your symptoms. However, there are healthier alternatives, such as meditating, journaling, and exercise that may prove to be a better way to help you cope. Not all mental illnesses are the same. They all have varying criteria and present their own set of challenges. If you or someone you know suffers from any of the symptoms mentioned here, please seek professional help. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who may benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.